On problem number 9, it's asking you to be able to find the distance between those two points. Now remember that you first need to remember your distance formula. Is the square root will be x2 minus x1, and we're going to square it, plus y2 minus y1, and then we're going to square it. So basically, your difference between your x is squared plus your difference between your y squared. And we're going to take the square root. This is your x1 and y1, x2 and y2. Now, it doesn't really matter whether you start with your x2 or your x1. As long as you are consistent, it will give you the same answer. So your distance will be, for your x, will be negative 1 minus 5 squared plus, now your y's, will be 2 square root of 3 minus negative square root of 3 squared. In this case, we have a negative 6 squared plus the double negatives become a positive. Now, remember that whenever you are in 2 square root of 3 plus the square root of 3, you need to think of this as a variable, as if it was just an x. So we have 2x plus 1x will give us 3x, but in this case it will be 3 square root of 3 squared. Negative 6 squared will be 36. And whenever you square 3 square root of 3 squared, we can use the property of exponents. So 3 square root of 3 squared. We can use the power property of exponents. And that will be the same thing as 3 squared and the square root of 3 squared. 3 squared will give me 9. And the square root and the square cancels will be 3. 9 times 3 will give me 27. 36 plus 27 will be 63. And I can simplify this. If you notice, the answer is not there. But I can simplify it as the square root of 9 times the square root of 7. The square root of 9 will give me 3. And the square root of 7 will stay by itself. So your answer is letter C. Now remember, you can also do the fact 3 for 63. That's another way of doing it. Or you can just think of the perfect squares that goes into 63. In this case, it will be 9 and then that will be the 7, 63.